Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And today, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. You guys know on this channel that uh, we do real talk. You know, we don't, uh, we don't try to hide. We don't try to sugarcoat things. We don't follow the crowd and do, do all the things you're supposed to do and avoid all the things you're supposed to avoid, right? Uh, it's about getting a little bit better each day and inviting you to do it with me in, in a very real way. Uh, I feel like we're on this journey together, and the music is just one little piece of it that connects us and encourages us, but it's kind of like a holistic approach to, you know, being better, getting better, and believing in yourself, right? So, because of that, when I get emails like this, um, it just, I kind of feel like it's my responsibility to, to share them, because there's a tone and the subject matter that um, is just important and people don't talk about it enough. And it always seems to come up around the holidays. I guess people that have families, that don't have families, that have loved and lost, whatever, whatever it is about the holidays, we're all emoting like crazy and, and yearning for that togetherness, like that, that connection. And if we have it, we feel blessed and grateful. And if we don't, it really, can sneak up on us and spiral out of control. So I get this video, or this email. It says, Veteran Suicide Awareness Music Video. It's from Zach Silver. He says, you recently did a video on Andrew Wiscombe. He and I are a part of Operation Encore, a music project creating opportunities for veterans that are musicians. I wanted to reach out and show you a video by one of our brothers, Stephen Cavell. Hope I said your name right a depiction of a returning veteran dancing with the thought of death. He wrote it after returning from two tours as a medic in Iraq. Even if one person sees this and thinks twice about choosing the dark path, then we've won. I think you should see this. All the best. Thanks for helping me become a better musician and listener. Zach Silver. Okay, so I'm going to play it. Now, he also sends me this film festival article, which has this quote and for me, for me, this is really profound because, well, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So this is Stephen explaining um, that he was so traumatized that he flirted with suicide as a darkly seductive way to end his pain and suffering. He says, I can't speak to everyone's experience, but for me, it's this feeling that's kind of the same when you fall in love with somebody, he says. It's the release of giving yourself over to something other than yourself. In those darker moments, it's not having to feel pain anymore, not having to feel guilt, not having to feel worry and the pressures of life. So this is some heavy stuff, right? But I don't know if any of you out there watching have ever been touched by suicide. Um, I... in, in in my world, I've had plenty of friends and family members drink themselves to death to drugs and heroin and, like, you know, have their arms cut off and they're still, like, you know, um, and, uh, and, uh, and I know that they were committing suicide, but just in a less violent departure. Um, and, uh, but the most profound one um, was a student of mine. As someone who music saved their life and um, found great solace in, 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 in embracing being a teacher, when I had one of my students, I think she was 19 at the time, commit suicide, she hadn't been my student for a couple of years, but we were close. We did the rock band program for many years with a great group of kids, and she was one of those people that worked really hard was naturally talented and always smiling, always, always um, just a bright, sunshiny light. And it, it just reminds me of people like Robin Williams. It's like the ones, the ones that, that seem to lift everyone else up around, that have that, have that power that seem to be so happy and optimistic. Sometimes it's those people you have to worry about the most. And it wrecked me. It still wrecks me. I think about her all the time. Her name is Taylor Perdue. I'll throw up a picture of Taylor. Taylor, you know. And, um, and uh, 
I say all that to say that um, I get the romanticism of it. I'm going to play his video, which I haven't watched, but I've always wondered how one gets to that place. And I've had really, really dark times. And there is a romanticism that kind of took over me in the sense that, like, I don't have to do this, right? I don't, you know, it, it like, and it, and it, and, and, and I, and, and I can see, I can see how that might progress and it might be different for different people, but I've always, ever since we lost Taylor, like I've always just been so deeply curious in a, in a, in a, in a way that I can't uh, express th that, um, especially how someone so young could get to a place where they definitively feel like this is the solution um, who had such a positive impact and so like Stephen here obviously was a medic saw some incredibly incredibly terrible things and obviously had an incredibly positive impact probably saved many many lives and feels he's got to come home and make this and share this and let's just hit the button I know it's going to be heavy. Death's cold hands. Death is female. That's interesting. With death. I sent her flowers and chocolates And the hopes that she noticed Send her attention my way Recording. But there she flirts back Gives me the smile that I wanted Takes my hand and holds it Because hers are always so cold Maybe I, oh yes, I am a fool I go steady with them Go driving around after my ship Down to the shore where it's quiet Trying to just be Snuggles up, wraps herself around my neck. She lets go, I catch my breath, and we both stare up at the sky. Breaks a glass on the counter Storms out through the shower Slamming the door as she goes Stops returning my calls Well I got an open in my door So baby I'm gone and I'm sorry Maybe the timing was wrong Girls like that 
One does not become enlightening by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. C.G. Young. All right. You know, that's true, by the way. That is true. All right. What a crazy song. So I love that it's in a few different parts, and it's like there's the courting process, right? She gives me the glance, you know, I'm ch whatever. And then there's like the falling in love part. And then the realizing it's wrong, and you fight, and, 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 and all she, she leaves, right? The timing is wrong. But you still keep thinking about her. Girls like that always come back, right? They always do. Um, still dream about her. I always do. That, that romanticizing in that context you know with death as a female from a man's perspective of suicide is extremely profound um, I really don't know what to add to that except that what you're seeing in this video uh, When you romanticize something, when you're when you when you when you when you fall in love with an idea, with an abstraction, even even a person, but the idea of that person, of that thing, of whatever, you can get so clouded and lost and turned around inside there, right? And there's always these moments of clarity when you realize that you've gotten lost and you're outside of there, and you have to choose over and over and over again to come back and fight for yourself and 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 regain that regain that thing um, and that's what I kind of get that's what I kind of get from this is that is that there's that there's that initial interest and then and then you kind of love it but then you know it's wrong and that just persists for the rest of your life and like this quote, like this video, talking about it, sharing your story, might just, like Zach said, make, save one person, make that one person think twice. Because how many people don't talk about this? It just finds them at their door, right? Uh, I... um. This is obviously an epidemic everywhere, um, and it's just something that, uh, oh, I didn't expect to make this video, but um, again, ever since, ever since Taylor, it's wrecked me. It, it's the whole concept of it just, just wrecks me, and, and I've never gotten to a place where this, as low as I've been, I never thought that um, if I just gave it one more day, I wouldn't show up for myself. So for anybody else there that's out there watching, you know, you can always just give it one more day. And call your friend, call your family, do anything. The sun also rises. Love you all. Cheers.